What if two fighter jets look identical, but one is secretly far more lethal? Israel's F-35 Adir may look like America's F-35, but beneath the surface, it's a completely different beast. Custom software, local weapons, and unmatched battlefield freedom. This is why Israel's Adir stands apart from every other F-35 in the world. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating stories in modern military aviation, why Israel's F-35 Adir is fundamentally different from the United States' own F-35 Lightning Tello. At first glance, both aircraft look the same, same stealthy shape, same advanced sensors, same fifth generation pedigree. But in reality, Israel's Adir is not just another F-35 customer variant. It is a uniquely customized war machine tailored for Israel's specific security challenges, regional threats, and operational doctrine. Unlike most countries that operate the F-35 exactly as delivered by the United States, Israel negotiated something no other nation achieved, deep access to the aircraft systems. This allowed Israel to integrate its own electronics, weapons, and software layers without depending fully on American approval that freedom transformed the Adir into a platform optimized for independent, high-intensity operations in one of the world's most complex combat environments. In this video, we'll break down how the Adir differs from the US F-35, why those differences matter, and how Israel turned an already powerful jet into a strategic game changer. By the end, you'll understand why military analysts say Israel doesn't just fly the F-35, it commands it. To understand why Israel's F-35 Adir is so special, we first need to understand the F-35 program itself. The F-35 Lightning Sipu was designed by the United States as a multi-role, fifth-generation stealth fighter meant to replace several older aircraft across Allied Air Forces. It focuses on stealth, sensor fusion, network-centric warfare, and battlefield awareness rather than traditional dogfighting alone. The United States built the F-35 as a tightly controlled ecosystem. Software updates, mission data files, and even maintenance systems are centrally managed for most partner nations, this means limited customization and heavy reliance on American infrastructure. This ensures standardization, but also restricts flexibility. Israel initially hesitated to join the program for this very reason. Its Air Force doctrine is built on independence, rapid adaptation, and locally developed technology. Israel cannot afford delays, external approvals, or restricted access during wartime. As a result, negotiations with the U.S. were intense and highly strategic. Eventually, Israel became the first country allowed to significantly modify the F-35's internal systems. The result was the F-35IA, meaning mighty in Hebrew. While the U.S. F-35 remains a global benchmark, the Adir represents something different. A fifth-generation fighter adapted for continuous, real-world combat readiness. The single most important difference between Israel's F-35 Adir and the US F-35 is software control. The standard American F-35 runs on highly protected mission systems managed by US authorities. Updates, threat libraries, and operational parameters are tightly regulated. Israel, however, was granted permission to install its own independent software layer on top of the F-35's core systems. This is unprecedented. It means Israeli engineers can rapidly modify electronic warfare behavior, sensor priorities, and mission logic without waiting for U.S. approval. In a region where threats evolve quickly, this flexibility is priceless. For the U.S. Air Force, software updates may take months of testing and certification. For Israel, changes can be implemented far faster, tailored to specific adversaries' terrain and intelligence inputs. This allows the Adir to adapt almost in real time to new radar systems, missile threats, or electronic countermeasures. This software independence turns the Adir into more than just a fighter jet. 
it becomes a constantly evolving combat platform. Analysts often say that while the US F-35 is designed for global warfare, the Israeli F-35 is designed for immediate warfare. That distinction alone makes the Adder one of the most flexible and dangerous stealth aircraft in existence. Another critical difference lies in electronic warfare. Israel is globally recognized as a leader in electronic warfare technology, and the Adder fully reflects that expertise. While the US F-35 already has advanced electronic warfare capabilities, Israel integrates its own domestically developed systems alongside them. These Israeli systems are optimized for the specific radar networks, missile defenses, and surveillance assets found in the Middle East. Instead of relying solely on generalized threat libraries, the ADR carries highly refined, region-specific electronic intelligence. This allows it to detect, analyze, and counter threats with extreme precision. Electronic warfare is not just about jamming radars, it's about controlling the electromagnetic battlefield. The ADIR can confuse enemy sensors, manipulate detection ranges, and reduce the effectiveness of air defense networks without firing a single weapon. For the US, the F-35 is one part of a massive joint force that includes satellites, naval assets, and support aircraft. Israel, operating in a much smaller battle space, needs its fighters to be more self-reliant. By embedding Israeli electronic warfare systems, the ADIR becomes a stealth aircraft that doesn't just avoid detection, it actively dominates the invisible spectrum of modern warfare. Weapons integration is another area where Israel's F-35 ADIR diverges sharply from the U.S. version. Most F-35 operators rely primarily on American-made weapons approved for internal carriage. Israel, however, insisted on integrating its own precision, guided munitions, and air-to-air -air missiles. Israeli weapons are designed with specific operational needs in mind, high accuracy, rapid response, and effectiveness against hardened or mobile targets. Integrating these weapons required deep access to the aircraft's avionics and fire control systems, something rarely allowed. This means the Adir can strike with Israeli developed stand-off weapons, smart bombs, and specialized munitions while maintaining stealth. The US F-35, while extremely capable, does not prioritize this level of foreign weapons integration. For Israel, this flexibility ensures supply chain independence. In prolonged conflict scenarios, Israel can rely on its domestic defense industry without waiting for external resupply or authorization. The result is a stealth fighter that blends American airframe excellence with Israeli weapons innovation. It's not just a platform, it's a fusion of two advanced defense philosophies optimized for speed, precision, and autonomy. The way Israel uses the F-35 ADAR is just as important as how it's built. The U.S. Air Force views the F-35 as part of a large, interconnected force structure. It operates alongside bombers, drones, tankers, and naval units across vast distances. Israel's doctrine is different. The Adir is designed to operate in highly contested airspace, often independently or in small formations. Missions are shorter, faster, and more intelligence-driven. The jet must be ready to launch at a moment's notice and execute complex tasks without extensive external support. This is why customization matters so much. Israeli pilots train with the assumption that the Adir may be the first and sometimes only aircraft entering hostile airspace. It gathers intelligence, suppresses threats, and delivers precision strikes in a single sortie. The US F-35 is a team player in a massive orchestra. The Israeli F-35 Adir is a soloist capable of performing the entire symphony alone. This difference in operational mindset shapes everything from mission planning to cockpit interface design. Another overlooked difference is how Israel manages maintenance and data. Most F-35 operators rely heavily on centralized logistics and data systems controlled by the United States. These systems monitor aircraft health, 
Maintenance cycles and operational readiness, Israel negotiated greater control over its own data. This ensures sensitive operational information stays within national systems. For a country where security and intelligence secrecy are paramount, this control is essential. Local maintenance capabilities also allow Israel to keep its aiders mission ready without depending on external timelines. In high tempo scenarios, even small delays can have strategic consequences. The US F-35 benefits from scale and global infrastructure. Israel's aider benefits from speed, discretion, and independence. Both approaches are valid, but they serve very different strategic realities. Israel was the first country in the world to use the F-35 in real combat operations. This alone sets the Adir apart. While many nations train extensively, Israel's jets are continuously refined through real-world missions. Each operation feeds back into software updates, electronic warfare tuning, and tactical improvements. This creates a powerful feedback loop between pilots, engineers, and intelligence analysts. The US F-35 has participated in combat as well, but Israel's operational environment ensures constant pressure to adapt. The Ader is not just tested, it is proven. This experience gives Israeli pilots unmatched confidence in the aircraft's capabilities. It also accelerates innovation as lessons learned are immediately applied. The Adder evolves faster because it must. The presence of the F-35 Adar has a profound strategic impact in the Middle East. Its capabilities alter calculations before conflicts even begin. Adversaries must assume that Israeli air power can reach sensitive targets with minimal warning and high precision. This deterrent effect is one of the Adir's most powerful features. It reduces the likelihood of escalation by raising the cost of aggression. While the US F-35 contributes to global stability through alliances, the Israeli Adir contributes through dominance and deterrence. It reinforces Israel's qualitative military edge, ensuring air superiority even as regional threats evolve. In strategic terms, the Adir is not just a fighter, it is a message. The F-35 Lightning Tabai is already one of the most advanced fighter jets ever built. But Israel's F-35 Adir proves that technology alone is not enough. How you adapt it matters just as much. Through software freedom, electronic warfare dominance, local weapons integration, and operational independence, Israel transformed the F-35 into something uniquely its own. The US F-35 is a masterpiece of global military cooperation. The Israeli Adir is a precision-engineered tool for survival in one of the world's toughest neighborhoods. Both are powerful, both are advanced, but they are built for very different realities, and that's why the Adir stands apart. If you found this breakdown in Sigful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more deep dives into advanced military technology. Let us know in the comments do you think customization is the future of modern fighter jets?